Hello YouTubers, Hemi Technoid here. And we're back again in front of the Pioneer cassette deck, the one I've been working on. And today I'm getting tweaky. Yeah, we're in the calibration mode today. Yeah, you bet. And any of you guys out there that work on cassette decks and electronics in general know that the calibration is very critical and it's all about standards. All about getting the standards set, you know like uh, watts per channel or RMS and and uh, wow and flutter you get your uh, your standards and and um, once you reach that standard then you know that the machine is working at its top peak performance well for cassette decks one of the standards is the Dolby level the Dolby calibration level and that's what we're looking at here we're looking at this cassette this is a Dolby level calibration tone cassette and this one is made by TIAC, so it's a, you know, it's an industry standard, the model number MTT-150, I ordered this on eBay, they're available out there, and yeah, what you do is you place this in your machine, and you get to the points inside where you adjust all the levels, and I went online, I went online to hifienginecom let's get out of the shadow, and yeah, there's all these tweaky points, all these adjustments inside there, you see, that the, they have for EQ, and record level, and playback level, bias, and all that stuff, and because this tape, tape deck can handle four different types of cassettes, you got type 1, type 2, uh, ferrochrome, and metal, each type of tape has its own adjustments so yeah you got to go through and get each one right but with playback there's only the one playback and that's the Dolby okay so yeah you uh, you use the Dolby tape to adjust the Dolby level playback and just to give you an idea of what's going on inside here look at all those little adjustment points all those little white cap looking things those are adjustment points and they're all over the board, in the back, up the front, yeah. yeah you got to get your screwdriver on there and adjust those things and watch and um, make them calibrate right. Get the adjustments right. And I got the heavy hitters out today. Uh, what I got is my uh, my TIAC deck here. I got it using, I'm using it as meter reference. You see these nice meters there, those nice meters. They are uh, nice to use as references because, you see, for a... For a deck like this, the meters are, they're just dots, and uh, they don't have the resolution that a nice little meter does like that, because you can see wavering, or you can see, you know, half a decibel, quarter of a decibel, you can see it change, even in the smallest amount, where with uh, a meter situation like this, it's just dots, so you can't quite tell the resolution between one dot to the next. So yeah, what I'm going to do is, without any waiting further, I'm going to put it into play on this Dolby level calibration. And you see there on the display, right there by the plus three, see the little plus three right there? There's two dots. And that is the Dolby level reference playback point for this deck. So what you want to do when you play this tape, you want it to reach that plus three. So when you hit... Hit it off a of pause, the tape is rolling, and there you are. It is calibrated right there. We are in playback mode, and it is calibrated for plus three Dol Dolby level on there. The dot represents the Dolby level. And the reason I got the, uh, the TIAC here is you can see that it's showing it's zero point. I got it calibrated to zero right there, and each each meter is right there. I want to show you how nice the resolution is on this. I'm going to adjust the output level of the deck and see see how sweet it goes. It just drops nicely, each smooth, nice and smooth. So yeah, we've got that. Now anyway, now it's calibrated to play back for the Dolby level. Now let's see how it does for recording, okay? We're going to stop there. We're going to stop the tape. Boom. Stop. Pull the tape out. Okay. Let's do this one-handed. 
and I'm gonna put in this Sony Type 1 tape that I've been messing around with and using to calibrate. And I've calibrated to uh, the, the Type 2 as well, but I'm gonna use this for the demo right now. Okay, let's re fast forward a little bit. Sorry about the jittery camera work. And we're gonna put it into pause. Pause play, whoops. I want it to go into record. Okay, we're gonna put it into record. All right, so it's in record mode. There's no Dolby. And what I've got is a test tone going, okay? And I'm gonna put it up to the test tone there. And right there, the test tone. And you see where the, uh, okay, there's the input source, right? And there's the tape. You can see that the one channel is slightly off. So I'm gonna need to tweak that just a little bit. But you can see that that left and right there are matched, that's the source. And, and switch to the tape. There's the tape, so it's slightly off. But you can see on the meters here over here, you can see the difference. Yeah, you see there's source and there's the tape. So you can see the one that's dropping it's dropped one decibel, okay? So it needs to be tweaked again. Yeah, it needs to be tweaked again, and that happens. Let, let's try moving the tape a little further along. Maybe it's a bad part of the tape, I don't know. You gotta mess around with these decks sometimes. It's a 40 year old machine. And to record, okay. Yeah, it's still low on that channel, so. I need to tweak that up again. But anyway, you get the gist, okay? So anyway, this is what you do when you calibrate a machine. You get it to play back as exactly as it's recording. And one of the nice things about this uh, deck is it's got this fancy schmancy way of calibrating itself, okay? So you've got this uh, calibration settings here. You got bias and level and EQ. And I went online and I downloaded the owner's manual to show how to do this, okay? And uh, what you do is first you get the tape rolling, okay? And you set it to bias. The first setting is bias, okay? And then it's got this dial right here. And then you put it to tape, of course. You put it, put it to tape, okay? And then supposedly, you want these guys here to both be lit. You want those guys to both be lit. And there, okay. By tweaking that adjustment, you can get them to both be lit. Now that's where you're supposed to get them to both be lit. Uh, okay, it's kind of tweaky. There we are. Okay, so that one you go for there. And then you switch it down to level, which is next. And then this guy here, you adjust so that these guys are the same. And you get both the level lights lit up. All right. And so they don't jump around. Okay. And then you go to, from down here, you go to the one that says EQ. All right. And over here, you got an dial that says EQ, you tweak that, and you want those lights to come on. And it looks like there we are, and we're good. And according to the owner's manual, that's all we need to do. We don't need to go back in and check bias or anything. Uh, the levels should remain the same, and they are. They are, they're a little bit jittery, but they also said that if you go back to bias, it may be off because you've adjusted the level. That's not important. That's what, the, that's what the owner's manual says. As a matter of fact, the owner's manual says that if you can't get the EQ light to come on, that you're supposed to go back and adjust the bias one until the EQ light comes on. And, ugh, I don't know, that's what it says. But anyway, it would be recording uh, perfectly now to uh, 
to its spec because it's calibrated according to the little lights there. And that'll be in the next video. I'm going to button this baby up and I'll, I'll go back in and tweak that one uh, decibel thing that's off to get it right. And uh, we'll do a, a recording demo and see how this records. See how it sounds. It should sound pretty freaking sweet. So until next time, this is Hammy Technoid saying, see you later.